What's up guys, Nebigam here, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back reviewing more Sonic Boogie 2 plushies. Um, these are actually from Claw Machines, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm talking about these guys that were from Toy Factory. These are found in Walmart Claw Machines. Um, I think they're, and I think they're only available at Walmart. So first thing is, I thought these were prototypes when I first saw them. Because I thought these were just like prototypes for the Jack specific plushies. The reason I came to that conclusion is when I saw Knuckles, I thought it was like a prototype or something. Because he kind of looked like the Jack specific plush. But when I saw that they also redesigned Sonic's shoes, I was kind of confused because the one that we got a while back had the generic red shoes with laces. And so when I thought when I recently found out that they were actually available at Clum Machines like Walmart, I was pretty shocked because I didn't think they were actually starting to appear in Walmart Clum Machines. I thought these were just like available online or not online, just like in stores. So yeah, I was able to get these three in the same Clum Machine and I'm very happy that I was able to get these because these all just look awesome together. I'm going to review all three of these one by one and I'm also going to give um, my verdicts. I'm going to do comparisons and I'm also going to say whether or not they're worth it. So we're going to move Knuckles and then Tails out of the way. We're also going to, we're going to show off Sonic first. Alright so here's Sonic and as you may notice uh, this is the same model as the first Sonic movie uh, plush. Uh, there are a few changes that have been made with this though. Number one is the head is more fatter. Uh, this one is more thinner. And also the head spike is more down than this one. This one is just like sticking up. Like, look at that. Look at it like that. It's like sticking straight up. And another thing is that he doesn't have that same fluffy material like this one. I'm assuming it's because this one, because this one was a promotional item, uh, it makes it more special. So, because this one is like more common, uh, if you have a Walmart near you, then that's what makes it, it kind of makes it less special, but I honestly don't care what material it's made of because I love Sonic plushies, so it doesn't really matter to me. And another thing is they didn't add the tan inside Sonic's ears again. Um, it might have to do with budgets and uh, they probably wanted to save money so they just used the same model for from the Sonic and so they just made I think that's the reason why they didn't add the tan in his ears that would have that would have made him look so much better if they added the tan in his ear but I am honestly not too distracted by that but it still would have been nice if they added it um, the body is also a little smaller than than the one on the left as well. And then you can see that the length of the belly is pretty much the same. But it's a less smaller though. They did keep the same uh, middle spike, so that's good. Um, they also changed the hands as well. They actually gave him, uh, they actually made his thumb stick out. Well, this one was just like clenched. I'm assuming it's just like, it's part of the movie, I guess. But yeah, they made his thumb finally stick out. This one looked a little weird. Because it's just like, it's very stubby. But this one actually gives him more character, so I like that. Also, here's a tag while I'm at it show you it's the same tag as every other sonic merch except it's got the toy factory logo and it's also got the same removal of plastic stuff it's even got the logo as well it's like that for all the plushies um but yeah let's move this guy out of the way and show him more about this guy the next thing is the uh, the shoes you can see that they're not those generic red shoes with laces they're actually the puma shoes so I will give Toy Factory props for that uh, because it give, it makes Sonic look more more like how he do, looks in the movie. But yeah, otherwise this guy looks really good. I really really like this guy. For comparison, I put all my Sonic movie plushies next to the new one. 
so here is the small version of the 14 inch plush. This is the Jack Specific Sonic plush. And this is the promotional Sonic movie plush. Um, it's almost like a, like, like these three, like these three right here are all similar. But this one is, just seems out of place, even though it's Sonic. But it's kind of weird that Toy Factory used the same model for this one, which was converted from this one. But I assume it, had to, it has to do with saving money and they were probably on a budget and running out of time. They most likely were in a rush and so the only thing that they did have time for was redesign his shoes. Well, yeah, um, I don't really have a problem with that, to be honest, because a Sonic plush is a Sonic plush, like I said. So, any Sonic plush in general, I I like. So, that was our all Sonic movie plushies next to the new one. And my verdict on this guy is I rate him a 10 out of 10. I really, really like this guy. I know I said in the last video that, um, oh, fix the camera. There we go. Oh, still crooked. Nice, there we go. So, um, I know I said in the last video that uh, this, this, the Bill Bear plush was my favorite. I think this guy might be my new favorite, mostly because it actually captures how Sonic actually looks in the movie. So, and also he's just really nice to have for my collection. So, I'm very happy to have this guy. All right, next up is Tails. Good old Tails. Tails looks really good here. I really like how the Tails was done. You see he has the fur on his chest and also on his cheeks as well. You see the tuft of hair as well. And also my favorite part is the Tails. They have it done very nicely. And the detail on his fur is printed on. But I don't really have a problem with that. I think it looks good on it. And here's the tag as well. It is a bit bent when I won it. I'm not sure why. I'm assuming the way it was, um, the way it arrived and then was uh, put in the machine. But yeah, the tag is the same thing as the Sonic. Uh, the first thing that I did notice about this Tails is that it looks similar to the other modern Tails that Toy Factory released on screen right here. See how they kind of look similar? Like if I put if I put Tails right here, let me zoom up the camera a little bit. If I put Tails like that and then put it next to the next to the modern Toy Factory Tails, don't they look kind of similar? Like, am I the only one who notices that? I think they look similar, in my opinion. I don't know, but I think they look really similar. But that doesn't ruin the plush itself. Also, I forgot to show the detail on the on his shoes. Look exactly like how they look in the movie. Really, really nice detail. Yeah, his fingers are also not, um, they're not clenched, which I like. It gives him more character. Yeah, other than that, this Tails look really good. Um, I only have one movie Tails plush, unfortunately. Uh, which is the Jack Pacific. Uh, he is kind of hard to sit down. There we go. Okay, so there's the, the Jack Pacific plush on the right, and there's the Toy Factory plush on the left. They're obviously very different from each other. Which one do you guys like the most? Personally, I like the one on the left more. Not saying that the one on the right is bad, don't get me wrong, but I think the one on the left looks more accurate to the movie counterpart than the one on the right. The one on the right just looks like a generic Sonic plush, but that doesn't mean I hate it though. I still really like it. I think it's really cute. One thing I wish Toy Factory did do is they made the his headbang stick up like that. Because this is just made with like one, one layer of foam, so it just flops. I, wish, I really wish it would stick up, but I still like the plush regardless. Now for my verdicts, I will give this guy a solid 10 out of 10. He's a really good Tails plush. He's very cute and he's very soft. And also, it just captures how he looks in the movie so well. I could even use this guy as modern Tails in videos if I wanted to. 
because he's that good of a plush. He looks really, really good. I highly recommend getting this guy in claw machines if you do see him. At least spend maybe like two dollars or three dollars if you do see him. And if you're lucky, you get him because this plush is really good. This is a really good Tails plush to have in, a co in your Sonic collection. So yeah, that's Tails. Time to move on to Knuckles. Right, last up is Knuckles. This Knuckles actually looks really cool. Like, compared to Jack Specific, I think this one looks a little better, in my opinion. It might be the mouth that makes it look better. Like, look at these up close. I think it's the eyes that that make me think the Toy Factory is better. Toy Factory didn't add the white threading on his eyes and use red threading, but it still makes him look good though. It might be the size of the eyes. And the mouth is also another thing that kind of bothers me. For the uh, Jack specific plush at least. You see from the ant from the side. This one just looks like an ant eater. Well, this one actually just looks like a knuckles, like an actual knuckles plush, like just like a modern knuckles plush. I think it's the face. The... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think it, it might be the face that makes me like this guy more. One one thing that I do don't really like though is the size of the nose. It should be a little small. It should be a little smaller. But I think because it's a plush, it just makes him just making a nose in in plush form. You can't get the right size, so that I will understand because I understand that pain. The white crescent on his chest is printed on, gives him more of a realistic um, texture, and also the most unique part about him is his big hands and his spiky knuckles. And I will give props to a Toy Factory for actually making his pointy knuckles inflated. Because for the jacks, they're just pieces of cloth that will bend over time. But these are actually inflated, and that's a good thing because it gives him more... It gives him more of a characteristic, because... Because his pointy knuckles are just so important to him. And it also just makes knuckles... well, knuckles. If he didn't have knuckles, then he wouldn't be called knuckles. He would just look like a normal echidna. Here's the tag as well. It's the same thing as um, Sonic and Tails. And again, it's bent. I'm not sure why. It might have been the way it was arrived. And then put in the machine. His quills are also her well done. I can never make a knuckles plush because of this reason right here. I can't make quills like this. It's just so difficult for me. Also, no weird thing is that um, the thread is popping out, acting like a hanger. I'm not sure if that was intentional. But you can hang, but you can hang them. Are your knuckles plushes like this? Cause that's just the way I saw them. this one. That's weird. I might have to cut that off because I don't think that's supposed to be there. Um. There's the shoes as well. It's printed on just like Sonic and Tails. And I see this as like a sign that this is from you. This is from Toy Factory. And for verdicts, I give this guy a solid 10 out of 10. I know I've been saying 10 out of 10 for all of them. It's because these guys, I just love every single one of these plushies. Like they're just so well done. And their quality is really good as well. And their looks is almost spot on. I think this by far might be the best Knuckles plush that I have. Like he looks so good, he looks spot on like from the movie and the quality is just really good. I think that I think the thing that makes him that makes me like him even more is his hands. Like they're actually big and they actually have inflatable spiky knuckles. And that's a big characteristic for knuckles that a lot of companies don't leave out. Because those are that's what makes Knuckles Knuckles. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Those are all the Sonic Movie Two plushies by Toy Factory. These guys are able to be one in claw machines at Walmart. So if you guys have any Walmart's near you and they have 
um, any in the claw machines, then I suggest going for it. These are all very worth it. They're made with very good quality of fabric and they just look good as well. I suggest maybe spending like maybe five dollars or maybe three. It all, it all depends on how much you want to really spend and if you really want to go for it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. My name is Navigamer and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.